Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today I am so, so excited for this video. Um, so as you can tell, we're opening, we're doing a little double feature thing. We're going to be opening Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake from the Loyal Subjects. I don't, like, new doll line? I don't really know if these are considered, like, reproductions or if these are just, like, considered, like, a new doll line or whatever. Um... I originally saw these at Sweet Sweet when I went with Brooke, aka X Canadensis. If you guys don't know who she is, you probably should and do if you're following me. Um, but I've been waiting so long for these to finally come out, and these are the first two that are out in their represent in their respective series. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so I'm going to, I think do Rainbow Bright first because I'm more excited about Strawberry Shortcake because I have more memories with strawberry shortcake and less with rainbow bright so before that though i want to do like a quick overview of their boxes so i guess we'll look at rainbow bright actually no we'll look at strawberry shortcakes first and then rainbow bright and then we'll open rainbow bright um so here is strawberry shortcake in her box i really love that they have the is this the original art style i don't really remember but i think this is like a redone version of the 80s art please correct me if i'm wrong i don't really know a whole lot about any of the um older eras of strawberry shortcake i just have like memories of playing with them and things like that from when i was a kid so like the 2000s ones but yeah so it says uh four surprises to unbox uh 10 pieces included 29 points of articulation i still don't know if that's true <laughs> i played with these at sweet sweet when we got to see them for the first time i think that was where they like revealed them so I don't know. I will have to take a look at her body and things because I haven't seen any reviews on these. I don't know if people have been posting reviews or not, but these are on walmart.com right now if you want to order them online. I got mine for, I think, $12.97 each, which is insane for the articulation, the quality, and the clothing. So I'm excited. Um, it also says that she is strawberry scented, so I'm, I'm very excited to see that. Um, there's the little subjects. Um, there we have a better look at new or not new art, but like more of the 80s art, the Loyal Subjects logo, and then their social medias. Please follow them, guys. They, it's crazy that we're getting dolls like these for the prices that they're at. I'm, I'm very amazed. Um, and then here on the back, we have some of the accessories, the doll, and we have like perforated packaging here where all the surprises are. And then at the bottom, we can see the ones that are coming. I am so excited specifically about, is that like, something meringue or is that orange something i don't know don't persecute me i don't really know their names um but i will because i'm i plan on collecting all of these this is i think i said multiple times that this is like my most anticipated doll release that still reigns true for this year so i'm i'm very excited about these um and then if you guys are looking here is the barcode i don't know if these are going to make their ways to target but i know they're for pre-order on amazon right now i think rainbow bright is actually sold out um, but they are available to order and ship day of, I think, on Walmart. So, because I ordered these, like, late last night and they came this afternoon. So, yeah, that is Strawberry Shortcake. And then here is Rainbow Bright. So, I don't really know a whole lot about Rainbow Bright. Um, I watched Cammy's video. Um, if you guys don't know, don't know who Cammy is, they are a doll YouTuber, just, like, YouTuber in general that focuses on nostalgia stuff. I love them a lot. Um, and they did a video on Rainbow Bright, like, I think right before I went to go see these at Sweet Sweet, so it's perfect timing. I might need to rewatch that so I can get, like, a grasp on <laughs> the lore and everything, but they say the exact same things. Uh, four surprises, 29 points of articulation, 10 pieces. Interesting that they just, like, switched the positioning. I mean, like, order, whatever. Um, and it says Rainbow Bright name right there. Um, side, more of that really cute Rainbow Bright artwork. I don't remember that little critter's name. <laughs> Um, I think it's the same art on both sides, yeah. And then on the back, we have the same type of box style. I really like these because it feels very, like, retro but new. So, I don't know. I think the packaging is really well done, too. They're pretty small as well. I'll do comparisons in a, uh, probably at the end, but super, super cool. We get to see what is probably the prototype. I don't know if the ones that we played with at Sweet Sweet were prototypes or if they were just samples, but... If you want to go watch that video, it's on my channel. It's back 
from I think it was like July. So it's it's a bit it's a bit back, but I think it's a really fun video. Watch my video, watch Brooke's video. Um, but yeah, and then we have the rest of the gang down here. I don't think all I don't think she was at Sweet Sweet. I don't think these two were. I'm very excited about the pink girl. And the green one was really fun. I have, there's a ver really stupid um, photo of me <laughs> being, like, really excited when I was holding her. Um, is her name Patio Green? I don't know. But, yeah, and here is the barcode. Oh, these are for the 40th anniversary of Rainbow Bright. And these are not for any specific anniversary of Strawberry Shortcake. So, I am going to um, take out... Rainbow Bright, the doll, and then we'll open the surprise packaging back here, but I will be right back. Okay, so she was really easy to open. There was, I think, like, two plus two or three plastic ties. We'll get to her in a second, but I think it's just because of how, like, overwhelming Sweet Sweet was for me that I wasn't really able to, like, take in all the small details, but for how, like, cost, like, how little she costs, there is a lot of really cool details, and well allocated places for like high quality so i don't know if i'm saying that right but I'm, I'm i'm very excited about her but in the packaging um she comes with the doll herself and then we have this really cute um sticker set which comes with a bunch of those little critters and then rainbow bright right there and a little star so super super cute i didn't know that was in there anyway so let's take a quick look at these surprises. I don't actually know everything that comes in here because I don't think they had everything out, but I do know some of the things. So let's open door number one. Oh God. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna... Okay, well, <laughs> first is a little brush. It's red. Cute. Um, not, not really helpful for me, but Oh my god, I'm so sorry. These are, like, really not perforated well, so it, it's kind of hard to open them the way that they're intended. What are you? She comes with a skirt? Excuse me. I didn't know she came with another, like, clothing outfit. Oh my god, cute! Okay, so this is, like, a little like, rainbow skirt. I don't really know what... Does this reference something from the show? Because I do not remember seeing this at Sweet Sweet or like advertised anywhere. So cute. We'll look at that on her. Um, God, I feel bad for like tearing up the packaging, but it just like is not coming out. Next, she comes with a bag, which is of that little white critter thing. Um, and then we have the last thing, which I think I know what it is. Oh, no. Nope. That is not what I thought it was, but... Oh, wait. I don't know if these come out. I'm thinking about, I think, a uh, strawberry shortcake one. But this is a cute little lunchbox, which is, like, retro. And it has Rainbow Bright, some orange dude, and then two of those little critters. It, it should open. Yeah, it does open. Oh, and it's on a hinge, actually, which is nice because it's not like it's gonna stress the uh, plastic down there, but that is everything she comes with. So let's move this destroyed packaging to the side, and then we'll take a look at Rainbow Bright herself. Okay, so her face, really, really, really cute. Mine is wonky, as you can tell, but these have a really high quality screening. Um, I really like the blushing. I, I just think like their expression is so cute and the face sculpts are really nice. Um, she has these bangs and this is really, really nice nylon. Think of Rainbow High, Pixlings, um, Modern Bratz right now. It is that exact same fiber. There might be a little product at the end, but it seems to be rooted decently well. Actually, not really. Um, it's kind of sparse, but she does have her hair in like a slicked back ponytail. So she has a Hime cut too, which is really, really cute. Um, articulation we'll look at more when I take the clothes off, but her dress is really, really nice. It has like these little, um, what are supposed to be like shoulder pads, I guess. Um, we have this like suspender type thing and it has an embroidered 
star and rainbow, which is really, really cute. And I was not expecting that to be embroidered. Um, really nice detail. The sleeves are unhemmed satin, which is not the best, but it is what it is. Um, sorry, I was just playing with the articulation. The bottom of the skirt is hemmed. It is all Velcro in the back. Now, there is no separate pieces here. And then we have her shoes, which are pretty well painted. Um, I don't know, not like a whole lot to say about these. They have a little star on the front. It's really, really cute. Um, and that is it. Oh wait, she comes with a little, <laughs> a little ribbon with a little like felt star there. Um, and it's super, super cute. Uh, I don't think these have like any special thing back here, but I am like very impressed because these dolls are tiny. Like I literally just got this pixeling in and she's like taller like the pixeling is taller than her and these dolls are tiny um so i think it's impressive to say the least to see that they were able to do a like full fashion doll with like crazy articulation and really nice high quality hair and faces for the price point that they're at and just like at the scale so super super cool um and yeah, let's see how this skirt looks on her. I'm not gonna cut away since it's just like a, a little skirt and I'm gonna be cutting away in a second anyway to take off the clothes. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> um, it does not want to Velcro in the back because of how bulky everything becomes, but that is, uh, am I supposed to be, like, am I supposed to be putting it on over this? I'm a little confused by this because this is, it looks bad. <laughs> and I don't think she comes with like an undershirt or something. So I don't know. This is an, an interesting piece for sure. I mean, like if you have other dolls at this scale that you can like mix and match clothes with, that it'll be fun. But I don't know, nothing too crazy about this. It's all made of that like plasticky satin, but it does have a really cool gradient on it. And then we have one of those other felt stars there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put all of her stuff on her, and then we'll be right back. And then I'll unbox Strawberry Shortcake, and then after that, we will be looking at the bodies. I just realized I should probably wait till the end to show the bodies. Okay, so this is what she looks like with her stuff on. I'm a little confused. I don't know if there's, like, a rarity thing to the unboxing element, but specifically on the back of the packaging there's two things that i didn't get but i got the skirt instead which leads me to believe that there might be some sort of rarity thing so on the back here you can see that we got the lunchbox we got the comb but there's a headband and a pair of like s shoes like sneak slippers that i didn't get but i got the skirt instead so either that's a batch thing or there's like a rarity system going on here, which I don't really like because I honestly probably would have preferred the second shoes and the headband over the skirt because you can't really do anything with the skirt in terms of like pairing it with this outfit. So I'm a little confused, but if any of you guys know what the deal is with that, let me know. Again, I didn't really see any of like these pieces. The most that I saw at Sweet Sweet was this bag and the lunchbox. So this is like literally what we were shown at, shown at Sweet Sweet and everything else is just like new to us. So I'm, I'm a tad confused. <laughs> but something I do quite like about these is that this hand specifically is molded to hold on to the lunchbox, which is super, super cute because it makes for like really cute poses and just like that's like so cute just like to have her hold herself on the lunchbox like I don't know um this bag is kind of a, a throwaway piece for me like I could take it or leave it because I would have much rather just come with this lunchbox and then a second pair of shoes or something like that um so I'm gonna have to like figure out what's going on with these because I don't really know I guess I'll figure it out with strawberry shortcake although I don't really know if she comes with anything else so I don't know we'll see but Overall, right off the bat, I really, really like her. I really like how tiny she is. I really like the face, the clothes, the hair. Um, for the most part, the accessories and like this sticker pack was really cute because I, I was not expecting that. So yeah, that is it for Rainbow Bright. So I'm gonna just 
move her to the side. One thing I will say right before we, before we, like, dive deep into the bodies, they are, their articulation is, like, very, very stiff. So I'm, I'm a little scared to, like, move her at the moment, but I, I kind of think that's just, like, a new doll thing. But we'll see. Um, so anyways, here is Strawberry Shortcake. I'm gonna go off camera, take her out, and I think I'm gonna take out all of these, too. Um, and then I'll be right back. But before we do that, we are supposed to get a pet, possibly a comb, a strawberry bag, a hat, question mark, and then mystery thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so strawberries out of the packaging. I'm still confused by the like back, like the surprise thing, but we'll get to that. <laughs> um, so again, she comes with a really, really cute set of stickers that I will not be using because I'm crazy and I don't want to risk losing them <laughs> by putting them on something. So here's what they are. They're really, really, really cute. Just, I, it looks like it's probably just one sheet, which would make sense, but really, really cute nonetheless. Um, and then we have the doll herself, which is really, really cute. I think I, I, I choice opinions about both of these right off the bat, but I will say, I think I prefer this doll just in general as in terms of like a play doll but we'll get to why in a second so here is miss strawberry she's really really cute and she smells like strawberries like she reminds me kind of of lotso from toy story 3 is that what, what movie he was in i don't know but i know he's supposed to smell like is he supposed to smell like strawberries or is it like raspberries or something but i don't know she smells she smells like strawberries she smells like what lotso smells like um so I'm, I'm very, very happy by that. I think she's so cute. Um, she has really, really nice nylon hair. There is no product in hers because it is just a, she has a slight little bob. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the C word on here, otherwise I would. <laughs> um, but really, really cute face. I really, really like how they did this one. Um, I think that the strawberry shortcake face sculpt in general just offers more leniency to like face changes and definition and stuff like that. I don't know. There's something about this one that make, no matter what, I think she's going to look really, really cute. Whereas Rainbow Bright, I think could look a little off-putting because they are kind of sort of tod like very realistic toddler-esque. So I don't know, but she's really, really, really cute. I'm very impressed by her already. Um, her hat is really nice. The brim of it is lined. It has like a cute pink strawberry pattern. It has a little uh, strawberry patch at the front. It is tea tied onto her head. I will probably remove those when I do like articulation and stuff like that. Um, but for now I'm going to keep it on, but it's really, really cute. It's really like malleable too. So you can like change the position of like the kind of patisserie uh, hat thing she has going on. Um, she has this really, really cute dress. Um, really, I love it. I think the apron is a really nice detail. It is made of a different fabric. It's not satin. It feels more like a like t-shirt cloth material it is uh all one piece but it does have a little ribbon on the back it's really really cute and the dress underneath is really basic but it's very cute as well it's just a red polka dot thing um and then she comes with a pair of leggings that are green and white and then she comes with her massive unpainted clogs <laughs> um which are really really cute as well um i don't know i'm just a very big fan of this outfit i think that this, this doll is just more catered to my aesthetic because it is like very pastel, very like whimsy, like girly in the fields <laughs> type thing. So I don't know. She just might be more my thing compared to Rainbow Bright. I also have more memories towards this doll. So obviously I'm probably going to lean towards it more. But anyways, let's look at the accessories she comes with. So let me pull over the box because I'll show the things one by one. So as we can see, we got that comb. We got the cat thing, which is really, really cute. Um, <laughs> he looks kind of stupid, but like in a really cute way. So I'm a fan of it. Like, I don't know. Like, I just think that's really cute to go with strawberry. Um, we got this cake that I thought was another hat for some reason, but I also think that like, strawberry shortcake is really campy. So like, not my fault for thinking that. Um, and then we got a lunchbox, which is just like the one that came with Rainbow Bright, but this time it has strawberry shortcake, the cat, is that a dog? And then just her eating strawberries. So 
that's what she comes with. But where I'm confused <laughs> is that on the box, she comes with a strawberry bag that I did not get and a strawberry basket that I did not get. And one of those is pictured here, but then there's also a mystery. So what is the truth, Ellen? <laughs> I'm just a little, I'm just confused. <laughs> Maybe it's my fault because I haven't really done a lot of research, but also like, what does it mean? Like, is there like a mystery one that you, that's harder to get? And is that that? Or is it the lunchbox that I got? And that Rainbow Bright got? Like, I'm, I'm just confused. <laughs> um, maybe I'll figure it out. But I was, I thought I was told that at Sweet Sweet, they would come with an enamel pin of them. Maybe I heard that wrong and maybe that was an entire thing, but they were displayed with enamel pins. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that is what I got with Strawberry Shortcake. Um, there isn't like an extra outfit or anything, um, to put on her, which I appreciate. I'd rather it go into accessories like this and the cake, because I think those are really, really, really cute. Um, it's actually, it's not a cake, it's a shortcake. Whatever, same difference. But yeah, um, I'm a, I'm a really, really big fan of these dolls. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut off camera. I'm going to take off all their stuff so we can look at their bodies because they are different bodies, at least from what I can tell. And then we'll be right back for my final thoughts and if I think they're worth it, which, spoiler alert, yes, I do. But we'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> here's the thing. I was singing the praises for these dolls pretty much the entire video, um, but I have, like, a lot of really glaring issues, more so on her than her. But let's take a look at um, Rainbow Bride's body first. So I like the body itself. I think it looks good. But my issue is that this is supposed to be a... Oh, okay. It does bend. It just is very, very stiff. So the knee, the legs are double jointed and the ankles are also articulated. Um, she can do a full sit, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that. But this girl cannot move her arms. Um, so articulation in the arm goes like that. And then hand is like that. Um, that's like nothing. <laughs> no offense. Um, but the way that they carved out the joints is very, very weird and awkward. I do appreciate that there's a swivel up at the shoulder. But... I am not a fan of these arms. Um, I think that they are very, very bulky, and considering that you have this much articulation and you were able to give us actual proper double-jointed knees, I would have really appreciated if they had carved out the arms, especially since their clothing is covering their arms, so there wouldn't really be any unsightly joints, unlike the knees. So my issue um also they seemed to have changed the like waist or like i don't know hip joint um so oh this is also as far as they can go that way and then back they can't really do back but when i played from what i remember when i played with them at sweet sweet there was like a full like really really nice swivel here but as you can tell there's like a a slight back and forth and then a slight side to side so Waist up, the articulation is not great. Um, the head also barely does a back and forth. A barely does an up and down. Um, so that's disappointing, um, I will say. But I, I do think that for 13 bucks, I think that overall, the articulation is really well done and really well made. It feels very nice and strong. And I don't really have any issues specifically with Rainbow Bright. But <laughs> I think... That Strawberry Shortcake just wanted to uh, curse me because I was really excited about her. Um, because I have a lot of issues with her. Um, so, first off, the head is more or less the same. This one I feel like has a little bit more of the up and down side to side. Um, the arms are about the same as well, although this one can pretty much hit a right angle, which I appreciate. So, generally, the articulation on this girl is a lot better because she can also hit that full kneel and like overall her articulation in that sense is really good but as you can see this broke and i don't really know how um 
it sucks because it doesn't it doesn't seem to be affecting the joint because this one actually stays on better than this side but we'll get to that in a second um but it does make me worried because i don't really know what would happen if this like breaks in full especially since she has a waist articulation i'm a little scared that something can happen and that's unfortunate because i want to play with these and i want to these are made for kids <laughs> and being marketed at fashion dolls are not like premium expensive high quality collector dolls that are meant to be very like careful with so i don't know i this again this could just be a, a one case scenario and i could just be the poor one the unlucky one but i want to point it out especially because i've been really praising these dolls the entire video um but she also has that same issue there really isn't any movement for her there's less so here um and also this leg pops off really easily um and i think that's because something is happening with the plastic here as you can tell you can actually see the joint there but on this side you can't really and you can only really see it because that broke so um i don't really know how to fix that or if i can i might try and boil wash it and maybe that'll like mally the plastic a bit and make it so that it's tighter around the joint um but yeah, I'm, I, I won't lie, I'm disappointed. Um, <laughs> I was very excited for these. I've been excited for these. I've been talking about them in a lot of my videos and just like in general talking about how excited I am. So it is a little upsetting that they are very flawed, um, especially because the samples or prototypes or whatever they were at Sweet Sweet were so good. I just wanna know if they couldn't feasibly do exactly what they had there in mass production or what, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna dress them up real quick and then we'll do like final, final thoughts objectively, not based on the personal issues I've had with them, but we'll take that into account as well. Okay. So they're clothed again. Um, and final thoughts. Um, I think that for 13 ish dollars, somewhat 13 to 15 after tax, um, I think these are really amazing dolls. Um, I pointed out the really big glaring issues that I have. Obviously, there's a lot of articulation issues, uh, quality control issues with the bodies, and just confusion with the accessories that you get. Um, <laughs> again, that last one could just be me not doing enough research beforehand, but I also am coming at this as a consumer. The average consumer won't be researching a product for multiple hours on end just to figure out what they're getting inside of it especially since these are playline toys um so i think a little bit more transparency as to what like the this means like on the back like what am i getting am i getting all of these or am i getting some of these and then a mystery one or if i'm or is there a mystery one and then i'm getting one of these like i think there needs to be a little bit more clarification when it comes to that um i think that quality control in terms of the bodies needs to be taken better because the fact that strawberry has one leg that keeps popping off and one side of her hip that's broken is really upsetting because every time i try to sit her down her leg pops out of place and i feel like if i play with her too much her body's gonna break and that's upsetting because i was really excited to play with these and pose them and take photos of them but now i'm a little scared to do so because i don't want to mess them up too much um between the two I do think that Strawberry is worth more. I think that although there's elements to Rainbow Bright that have really that are really, really cool, like I think her outfit is really well done. I think that the accessories she comes with are cool. I just think that you get more bang for your buck for her because she has a dress, these stockings, this hat, and then all of the accessories down below, like down there. So again, if this is more like stylistic preference and just like which franchise you prefer but I would probably be more likely to pick up the rest of the Strawberry Shortcake gang over the rest of the Rainbow Bright gang if I wasn't collecting both. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below, ask me on Twitter. Um, I am gonna probably be posting this video same day, um, so I need to edit that right after this, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you're excited to possibly get a doll or of the upcoming dolls who you're excited to get. Again, I'm, I'm really, really, really excited um, for this lady. I, I don't know her name. I apologize for that. I'm really excited for her. And I'm also really excited for 
patio green from Rainbow Bright, which is the green one, and also the pink and blue one. Um, so yeah, um, that is it. I'm gonna go take thumbnails for this, and I will see you guys later. Bye.